Okay, welcome, welcome. I'm putting up some snacks for our example. I'm uh, doing a piece on something kind of complicated. I've been wanting to do a tutorial on it for a while. Um, it's on enums. It's a, it's a powerful, powerful um, array tool for Playmaker and Unity. Where are hot dogs? Shoot, I thought I had hot dogs in here. All right, so pizza, fries, and pineapple um, wine okay so yeah enums are a really powerful way to handle data and create custom arrays and be able to program and keep things clean and once you start to use them you'll never never go back to simple lists um, so um, we're going to do a little example here but the first thing you're going to do is for playmaker is to make sure that you have your Echo system installed. Go to add ons, download add ons, and you're brought to this page. And all you do is you click the Echo system browser. So um, you just want to go ahead and click download this package. It's going to have download. And then you go ahead and save it to your Playmaker assets folder or wherever you want. And if you just double click this, it's going to go and install the Echo system for you. No big surprise, I already have the ecosystem already installed and you access it by going to Playmaker, add-ons, ecosystem, ecosystem browser, and it pulls up this guy. And what you wanna do is just go ahead and type in enum and then you do search. Oh, so many enums. Oh, enum creator wizard. Okay, I've already got it installed, but you do the same kind of thing. It'll have an install button here. You click it and it'll install and compile for you. And it creates all these extra little tools and helpers for you. Okay, let's go ahead and see what uh, enums can do for us. Go to uh, Playmaker, add-ons, tools, enum creator wizard. I think pops up on a different menu. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a new enum name. You can customize all the space, but I just haven't for my examples. But um, let's go ahead and call this um, snacks. Okay, and right now it's, it's an empty enum or a, basically a list with an ID that we're creating on the fly. And it's actually creating a file for us, but let's go ahead and add one of the snacks. We have um, pizza. It's hard to type with a microphone in front of your face. Fries. Cat. And wine. And go and save it. All right, don't wig out. There's a reason for this. I'm not a cannibal or a, I don't know what, it, it's not a cannibal, what, whatever, that somebody that eats pets. It's gross. Okay, so now all that stuff's created and somewhere it's stashed our, our um, enum snacks somewhere. So let's go ahead and create an SF FSM to go ahead and be able to access that. So if you do, uh, we're going to create an empty object. And uh, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new FSM. All right, we're gonna create a new event that we're gonna use for a global event. Um, we're going to call this uh, 8, okay, and we're going to do add state, or I add a global transition and select our event name we just chose, and that is just kind of hanging up for us to do stuff later. So we're going to go to our variables, this is where we're going to start to use our new um, enum variables. We're going to call this... Um, Food. And we are going to select the type enum. Add it. Now down here, this is some of our selectors are are under enum type. We're going to go to com identity name, and then we have snacks, the one we just created. And right now, you can see our, our values are already pre-populated these fine fine types of things okay and then whoops where to go okay is that all I have to do with this 
Okay, so we created this um, global state, so we can call it from anywhere in the game, any other FSM, and then use this enum for an example. So, okay, so back to our global transition, so we can actually use this to and access it from anywhere in our game or different FSMs. Um, we're gonna go to the state. We're gonna search for enum, and these are all the things that we can do with the EDM we created, as well as other ones. So let's just use, um, we can compare if one or another line, we can do other things with it with logic statements, but let's go ahead and do, um, just to branch off to different states, let's go and do switch, okay? So the enum type, um, there's our snacks again. Um, the variable we used, I think we called it food. Okay, right now it's default to pizza. Uh, if we use inspector, you can set that manually. Um, now that's the base. We could have created a, a base state of nothing, but I didn't add that to the list. But right now let's, uh, how many states we had? Four, one, two, three, four. So we'll make uh, four states, then hit enter. It's gonna give us all the options do it we have um, our very first default is pizza and this is just like the compare if in the other tutorial where you send an, a, a, uh, an event you create a new event and it goes flying off to do something else right so pizza um, we'll set up event a new event same thing with uh, Drop down to fries. Now we, have to, uh, we can click these so it actually it'll add our little tabs on the fly, okay? And then we can fly these all the way out. Control, and then drag your wire off. And the gross one is a fail state. We're gonna do something completely different, like kick you out of the game. Or I shouldn't have picked the cat, could have been a bottle of poison or something like that. But anyway, so this is how you access enums. And again, if you wanna call it, you would call it like you would call any other state or collider, um, where you can actually create these guys to actually have colliders. So now if we have a our FSM for here, we unlock, we can go to the fries, go to fries, whoops, create a new FSM for the fries, and do a trigger. Use owner, trigger, on enter, collide tag, nothing, send event. Okay, so now that we have our trigger for on the fries but hold down the control drag over to create our new state new state we're going to add something for the fsm so we are going to set fsm enum okay so instead of we're going to specify the game object the game object what explode that is the fsm set that's that contains all the stuff we just did and the variable name, it should know the variable. Oh, the FSM is usually named SS FSM, but if you just click here, it knows what it's containing. The variable knows food. And then the enum type, again, we go this, com, my game, and then snacks. That's what we created. It's defaulted for pizza. We're actually we just actually ran into fries. So there's that, and that is all there is to that. Okay, so we have a simple collider set for the fries, and on top of the fries, we have a an action that's on trigger. And we're gonna send a, a, an event to a new state, and we're gonna call the FSM, and that is gonna call our global transition, and we're gonna update our enum for fries. So if we go back over here currently and we click our variables 
Right now our food is set for pizza. So let's go ahead and lock it and go ahead and run it. Ugh, things are way too fast. So we go ahead and do this guy, pick up fries. And you can see down here, it changed to fries. Okay, so that's how you do enums. And you can see how this is way more powerful than hard coding variables into objects to pass. And you can start to combine these things to make more and more complicated pieces of logic instead of single transition triggers. Okay, um, if you have any questions on implementation or examples, leave them in the comments and Subscribe if you want to see further examples of using enums and other things that I'm going to start presenting for Playmaker. Okay, oops. Am I leaving the screen? All right. Sorry about that. All right. See you next time. Bye.